you're also working, of course, continue to produce a material. And I got to ask you about someone you've worked with. Everyone was talking about Miley Cyrus, her album coming out, her videos, her performance in the MTV Video Music Awards. You've worked with her. You know her. What did you think of, of her performance, and, and what else do you have planned with her for the future? Um, I'm, I'm proud of my, I, I, I like um, her bravery and her just being her. Um, you know, every, every person has a right to their own expression. And a lot of times, artists that have a history of like control, um, they find expressing themselves daunting and I don't want to upset my initial core. So we have a lot of safe folks out there, folks that have a past and even, you know, folks that are just fresh in the game now. So that's the reason why I say I applaud her bravery because what she, she feels internally like she has to separate herself from the Miley Cyrus and, you know, the Hannah Montana that you knew to have longevity, you know? Now, did you talk to her after the performance about no, it? No, I'm just, I just break, I'm just breaking it down. Like, okay, why? And what I get from it is separation. I'm a totally different person now. Um, and I, when I first heard her music, her new music, it was uh, Wrecking Ball. And that song just blew me away. I was like, yo, that song is beautiful. That song is out of here. So I, I reached out to her to collaborate on my record just from hearing that song. I'm like, yo, this girl is, that ain't the Tana Montana Miley Cyrus I knew. This Wrecking Ball is ill. That's like my favorite artist type of music. Like if she, if she just came on the scene yesterday and Wrecking Ball was the song, she got me. So from that point, that Wrecking Ball made me a fan. I heard that last year.